a valentine for Norman Noggs. Norman Noggs was in love. He sat in the third row, second seat, just behind the new girl in class. If I'm lucky, Norman thought, Wilhelmina might turn around and ask me for a pencil. He drew a heart in the margin of his math paper and smoothed his tiny hamster whiskers. Norman loved the way Wilhelmina's eyelashes fluttered like butterflies. He loved the lace on her dress and the buttons on her shiny black shoes. But Norman Noggs was not the only one who wanted Wilhelmina to notice him. Sigh. Richard is so strong. At recess, Richard carried two kindergartners across the playground and dropped them right in front of Wilhelmina. I'm the strongest, toughest person in the whole class, he said. Too bad I'm not as tough as Richard, nor thought Norman. He helped the kindergartners find their way back to their teacher and showed Wilhelmina where to line up. Thank you, she whispered. Just the sound of Wilhelmina's voice made not Norman's stomach feel wobbly. Oh! During lunch, Arthur ate five pieces of pizza, two helpings of macaroni, and six oatmeal cookies. I'm the biggest person in the whole class, he said. Don't you think Arthur's dreamy? Too bad I'm not as big as Arthur, thought Norman. He showed Wildemina where to put her tray after lunch. Thank you, she said quietly. Looking at Wilhelmina's brown eyes made Norman's knees start to buckle. Wow. That night, Norman did 25 push-ups and ate two helpings of mashed potatoes. Then he ran around the house until his legs felt like noodles. Whoosh! He looked in the mirror. His hamster feet looked small in their little red tennis shoes. His ears looked no larger than apple blossom petals. This might take a little time, he said. Maybe a lot of time. Every day, Norman worked hard. He ran from the grocery store to the fire station before breakfast. He ate broccoli and Brussels sprouts. He did jumping jacks and somersaults. Every day, he stared at the back of Wilhelmina's head and hoped she would turn around. I bet she doesn't even know my name, he thought. He wrote his name in extra big letters on his paper, just in case. He hates broccoli. N-N plus W-S. Richard carried Wilhelmina's books to the music room, and Arthur scored the most points in gym class. Norman helped Wilhelmina find her blue mitten before recess and explained the homework in social studies. Thank you, she said. Norman felt his insides slide right down to his socks. Here it is. Ouch! And a two-page report on gerbil holidays. For Valentine's Day, I'm going to buy Wilhelmina the most expensive valentine in the whole world, said Richard. But mine's going to be the biggest, said Arthur. Norman stretched his little neck up to make himself look taller. I'm going to make her a valentine with the best words, he said. Over my dead body, said Richard. Don't even think about it, said Arthur. Wilhelmina isn't going to get any valentines except from us. Maybe you won't be around too long, eggnogs. Yeah. Norman thought about what Richard and Arthur might do to him if he gave Wilhelmina a valentine. Then he thought about how Wilhelmina's cheeks were pink as peppermint drops. I'll give a valentine to Wilhelmina no matter what, he decided. He cut out a red heart and glued white paper lace around the edges. Then he wrote, Wilhelmina, Wilhelmina, won't you be my valentina? Norman tore up his valentine and started over. Wilhelmina is sweet as candy. Wilhelmina is nice as pie. Wilhelmina is just so dandy that she makes me want to sigh. Norman sighed. He tore up that heart, too. This is going to be harder than I thought, he said. But Wilhelmina is worth it. Arr! 
On Valentine's Day, Norman carried his valentine to school. He thought he saw Wilhelmina peeking out the window as he walked by her house, but he wasn't sure. At the corner of the street, blocking his path, stood Richard and Arthur. There he is. Let's egg some nog. They look big, thought Norman. Richard growled like a grizzly bear, and Arthur waved his arms like a gorilla. They are big, Norman decided. <clears throat> Richard grabbed Norman's valentine and threw it in the gutter. So much for your valentine, he said. Norman tried walking past, but Arthur grabbed his notebook. Look, said Arthur, I've got another valent. He's got another valentine hidden in his notebook. I made it just in case something happened to the first one, said Norman. Something's going to happen to the second one, too, said Arthur. He tore up the second valentine and stomped the pieces in the snow. All of a sudden, they heard a loud noise. Yeah! Woof! Yeah! said something in a blue coat. Richard was so surprised he slipped on a patch of ice and went sailing into a mound of snow. Woof! Pow! Pow! the blue coat said. Arthur tripped over Richard's sprawling feet. Woof! Wow! Norman stared at the person in the blue coat. Would you like to walk to school with me? he asked. I'd love to, Norman, said Wilhelmina. I'm still the toughest, shouted Richard from the snow pile. But you're not the smartest, said Wilhelmina. And I'm still the biggest, yelled Arthur. The bigger they are, said Wilhelmina, the harder they fall. ee screamed Richard and Arthur. Run for it, Wilhelmina shouted. Norman grabbed Wilhelmina's hand and ran as fast as he could, pulling her along behind him. They were at their desks before Richard and Arthur had even reached the playground. Wilhelmina turned around and smiled at Norman. If I teach you karate, will you teach me to run as fast as you can? She asked. Norman's tongue wouldn't move at all, so he nodded yes. This is for you, said Wilhelmina. Just looking at the envelope made Norman's head feel woozy. He read the valentine. Dear Norman, thanks for being my friend. Will you be my valentine? Love, Wilhelmina Stitch. Norman read the valentine twice before he could believe what it said. Then he unpinned the third valentine he'd made for Wilhelmina from his shirt sleeve. The valentine said, Wilhelmina, be my valentine love. Here are some words you remind me of. Flowers, angel, dainty, stars, your friend, Norman Noggs. Before handing it to her, Norman added the words strong and smart. He watched as Wilhelmina read the valentine, and when she smiled at him, Norman Noggs blushed like a pink candy heart. True love. Yippee, my girl. I'm yours. You are mine, my guy. And that was a valentine for Norman Noggs.